This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, January 10th, 2012. I'm your host, Peter Bush. We're fortunate enough to have a great partnership with the International Swimming Hall of Fame in Fort Lauderdale, where they have tons of swimming history inside their walls. And CEO Bruce Weigo just discovered another gem. We'll let him tell the rest. This beautiful cathedral-like building is the vast Payne Whitney Gymnasium at Yale University. Among all the indoor athletic activity it houses, none has gained more fame in the world of sport than the blue winners of Yale's great swimming teams. This crystal clear exhibition pool is the official home of the Eli Speedboards. Swimming was once a major sport in New Haven under the tutelage of popular Bob Kippeth, coach and physical education specialist. Bob directed Yale swimmers for 42 years. In this long period, his teams won 528 college meets while losing only 12. Kippeth was the official coach of the 1928, 1932, 1936, and 1948 U.S. Olympic swimming teams. I'm standing next to the late, great Bob Kippeth's bust here at the International Swimming Hall of Fame. Bob Kippeth is one of the greatest coaches in the history of swimming. In many ways, Kippeth was responsible for the modern sport of swimming, not only for introducing calisthenics, weight training, and interval training to the sport, but for bringing Hollywood glamour to swimming through his Yale Water Carnival. I recently sat down with Bob Kippis' assistant coach and later successor, 96-year-old Hall of Fame coach Phil Moriarty, to find out more about this incredible event. Way back when we first started, Bob Kippis uh, would, would uh, invite a lot of swimmers to come to Yale to train. So somebody said, why don't you put on a show and then we'll, we'll make some money on it. So with that, we invited some of the great swimmers we in, uh, to come to Yale at different times. But we invited the Smith girls, the uh, Smith College girls down, they did their formation swimming. We had good publicity on it and we packed the place, everything. It was a very attractive thing to, uh, for the Haven people to come in and see that. And sit up high and looking down at all the swimming going on. It was continuous. Uh, high school relays and age group swimming and then, then the Yale team would put on <laughs> what they call jockey, a horse and jockey races that somebody get on the kid would get on the back of one of the yellow swimmers and he'd swim and the kid would hold the reins and blow him down. It was very interesting and all the different uh, things we did. And we have a comedy skit all the time and Larry Grizzle was, was so good. <laughs> I think it was the funniest thing I ever did. He'd go up in the dive board after he got and he'd try to he'd take this towel off the off the rail that we had there, you know, clean his ears out like that, and all of a sudden he let go, and, and the damn towel would go right up into the audience. It was a really quickie. It was very funny when it happened, you know. Are there any films of those shows? I would say probably not. Yeah. Of, you know, what is he, it wasn't a chip to, like today, it had to be. Fortunately, Phil was wrong. What you're about to see is recently discovered footage from the 1935 Yale Water Carnival. The show began with young swimmers diving in the water and spelling out Yale and then having a lot of fun with Yale's best. Designed by Kippeth, the Yale Exhibition Pool is an aquatic theater with 2,200 seats rising 53 feet above deck level. The ability to turn out the house lights, use spotlights and underwater lighting brought a touch of class and a sense of Broadway to swimming. Here's Hall of Famer John Higgins demonstrating a new technique for the breaststroke. In this event, Yale's best had to change into nightgowns, jump off the three meter board, swim down to the other end of the pool, blow up balloons until they burst, then swim down to the diving end of the pool where they were given candles and had to swim the length of the pool without the candle going out. Here Olympic diving greats Marshall Wayne and Dick Degner put on an exhibition for the crowd. And now they're going to show a beginner from the audience uh, how to dive. A little cautious out there on the board. Straighten up your legs, young man. Oh, it looks hopeless. 
but it's none other than Larry Griswold, the world's greatest comedy diver. Hang on, Larry. Whoa. Hey, he's got it now. Oh, no. Now they bring up a young guy from the audience to show him how to do it. Here's an attempt to set a world record for underwater swimming. And Adolph Kiefer is attempting to set a 220-yard backstroke world record. You can learn how to handle a canoe. Or watch the Ivy League's best swimmers contest a relay. The success of Yale's Water Carnival brought swimming to the attention of Hollywood and helped create stars like Johnny Weissmiller and Esther Williams, who took the sport of swimming to great new heights of popularity. Thanks, Bruce. And if you want to learn more about the International Swimming Hall of Fame, check out their website, ishoff.org. All right, that's it for today's show. I'm Peter Bush, reminding you to keep your head down at the finish. <laughs>